Good morning, Mess Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Wednesday B Day announcements. Students and staff, we have a lot today, so I am going to dive right in. Upcoming events this Friday, we have the ninth grade zoo class trip. We have the trade union fair coming up on the 13th. That's Monday, students. Thursday, the 16th, first quarter grades close. The 27th quarter one report card conferences are on that day. Doing a little bit differently this year, students. There will be no school for you on that day. <clears throat> It'll be all day report card conferences, including evening. More on that coming out in the coming next couple of weeks. And then putting this on the calendar early, but it's going to be a big one, just like the trade union fair is a big one. The 14th, we have a college and career fair. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators at Mass Bomb always to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. Please reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. All right, students, I want to talk about this just a bit. And you know what that is. That's yonder. You don't have to like it. You don't have to love it. But it is what it is. And I hate being cliche, but yonder is what it is. All right. So here's the deal. You're not supposed to have your phone students out of your yonder pouch. But we know that sometimes phones are out of yonder pouches. Okay. We know this. It's an imperfect system. But students, every time you are spotted with your phone, all right, be it in a class, be it in the hallway, be it in the lunchroom, wherever it may be, what is going to happen is you are going to have your name reported to a form, okay, by the teacher, by the administrator, by the climate staff member, whoever it may be. And if you accumulate three warnings, Three notifications within one week, Ms. Foster is going to issue you a parent letter and confiscate your phone at the door, okay? So students, your teachers, your staff, your administrators are using this form. Please be forewarned because forewarned is forearmed, as they say Actually, forewarned is forearmed. Whoever can tell me what that is from, what literary text that is from, earns a prize from my office. All right. Mass Bond Social Wellness Group. This is from Dr. Hayward. The time has come. The counseling team will be hosting a social wellness group starting Tuesday, November the 28th, 2023. Each cycle of group will run for six weeks. There will be a minimum of two cycles this school year. The group offering uh, for this year is youth empowerment. Reflect on who you are, learn your leadership style, create a vision for your future, and give back to the community. It's Tuesdays from 11.45 to 12.30 in room 410. If interested students, please sign up in room 202, 322, 422, or scan the QR code right there for the Google form by Friday, November the 17th. That is in nine days. Each group is limited to 10 participants per cycle. So don't hesitate. Sign up today if possible. Reminder from Mr. Zwolak. Students, if you are interested in the seal of biliteracy, if you have, if you speak a second language, if you speak a third or even more languages than three, you know, see Mr. Zwolak, okay? Particularly if you're at 11th or 12th grade students, because you can register for the seal of biliteracy. Okay, see Mr. Swalak in room 612 after school on Tuesday, November 14th to acknowledge and celebrate your superpower. <coughs> SSC students open today during all lunch periods. It is college and career Wednesdays, all right? Open for school, after school, in the way of clubs today. We have the Ecology Club, Mr. King, from 245 to 345 and 605, we have the WHYY Media Club with Mr. Kelly and Mr. Justice, 421 after school today. We have the Tabletop Games Club with Mr. Thomas in room 407. We have the Card Games Club with Miss Higgins 
245 to 4 in Miss Higgins' room. We are most definitely clubbing on Wednesdays. And finally, we have the Mass Bump Student Council. I can't remember, Mr. Blywise, if this is a student council day because they're every other Wednesday, but just putting it out there that every other Wednesday is a student council day. Students, you already know about our effort checklists. You know about the PBIS points that those effort checklist points earn you. Cooth and Chromebook repairs and social media. And November is gratitude month at Mass Bomb. All right. Have some gratitude you'd like to share for someone or something at Mass Bomb? If you do, and I know you do, whether you're a staff member, whether you're a student, please email me with your gratitude so I can share it on the morning announcements. And hey, staff, hey, students, yeah, I'm talking to you. You know I haven't heard from you in a while. You know I'm waiting to hear that gratitude, okay? You know who you are. Please email me some gratitude so we can start people's day right. Uh, because as we know, gratitude, the expression of it, is, is a great way to start out the day just as it is great receiving a bit of gratitude to start out your day. All right, so with that in mind, we are coming in today with two very nice pieces of gratitude. First, from Mr. Justice. I'm grateful for the teachers that are willing to collaborate with each other, not just on things that we have to do, like the standard classroom productions, but also allowing and encouraging our film and video attempts to make cool stuff like the Panther Hot Ones. It takes a lot of effort and flexibility to pull off stunts like this. Also, thank for the students that recognize opportunities and take them. It requires some vulnerability and courage. I love to see it. That's great, Mr. Justice. And next, Mr. Marx's bit of gratitude. I'm grateful for my advisory students. The 604 advisory always starts today with positive energy. And smiles. Dante always hits me with a positive greeting. Sakai lets me know the weather. Gina and Jermaine's calming approach. Owen and Dahlia's inspiring work ethic. Stefan's Halloween costume. Daniel's punctuality. Sabri and Siani's positive energy. And I'm still leaving people out. The group bring a bright and refreshing way to start the day. Thank you to the 604 Advisory for starting the day on the right foot each and every morning. Mr. Marx, that's awesome. Mr. Justice, that's awesome. And you know what? Great job. That's exactly what we're looking for with Gratitude Month. And continuing with the staff and student shout outs from Ms. Walker. Ms. Walker would like to shout out Mijan Pal. Thank you for chaperoning Mass Bomb's Ag Ambassadors at Fox Chase Farm on Thursdays for students' connection to and work on the farm is empowering for them and is inspiring future Mass Bomb students. There are more elementary students visiting the farm this year, and our students are essential when it comes to helping manage multiple school field trips. And shout out to Mr. Constance and the carpentry students. The barn, the Bunny Mansion Rabbit Residential, is looking awesome. I cannot wait to see it in action. Hey, Ms. Walker, thank you very much. And Mr. Pal, great job by you this year. Finally, staff and students, this is our school vision. These announcements are a little bit longer than usual. All right, we're Mass Mom. We build the future. Have a great Wednesday.